the Arizona Wildcats win this game against the Oregon State Beavers. Final score, Arizona Wildcats 74, Oregon State Beavers 69. I was really hoping to see Elliott Pitts uh, or maybe um, Korchek um, and Mays uh, make solid contributions in this game. Um, I didn't, you know, I didn't watch uh, Mays all the time, but um, he tried to, you know, he tried to make a field goal. But he he missed. Um, he got an assist, so that Jordan Mays got an assist. You know, the senior uh, Jordan Mays from the Arizona Wildcats got an assist, so that was pretty cool. Uh, I always like to see uh, assists from uh, from some of the second stringers. Uh, Hollis Jefferson it doesn't start, um, but uh, like I said, you know he's not really a, a a second stringer too much. He's more of a. He's such a contributor. I don't. I didn't get exactly how much time, how much play time that he had uh, tonight. Rondy Hollis Jefferson from the Arizona Wildcats, but um, he ended up with uh, 13 points. Uh, I'm using something a little bit different this time. I'm using MSN. Um, dot Fox Sports. Dot com uh, stats to uh, uh, you know the box score on that so um, it might be a little bit different than ESPN or it might be a little bit different than Fox um, Fox Sports or it might be a little bit different than Sporting News or or something like that but uh, anyway the um, Arizona Wildcats shot. Uh, Quite badly from the free throw land, um, <clears throat> but the Oregon State Beavers shot even worse from free throw. They shot 16 for 29, and the Arizona Wildcats shot 19 for 30 from free throws. Uh, from there was a, the the free throw uh, made and attempted. Um, so and, and that was kind of interesting because Oregon State Beavers are known for being, uh, I think they're rated second in the um, uh, uh, free throws made or free throw percentage. So it was kind of peculiar. We we knocked them out of their game, but you know, at the same time, I think that some of this game, I mean, uh, there was some calls that didn't go Oregon State's way. And that was one of the reasons why Arizona, the Arizona Wildcats were able to pull the game out in the end because there was just so many uh, fouls being called on Oregon State that, uh, that, that just weren't very, uh, they could have gone either way. You know, they really could have gone either way. And, and uh, so uh, we had... Um, Let's see if there was anybody that fouled out for the Oregon State Beavers. Uh, see any personal fouls? No, they didn't. Oregon State didn't have anybody foul out, um, but the Arizona Wildcats had somebody foul out. Um, um, Aaron Gordon had uh, five fouls. Uh, T.J. McConnell had four fouls. Tarzuski had four fouls. Um, I heard from the guys on the radio that uh, Tarzuski for the Arizona Wildcats was going to have more of an impact on this game. Um, he was going to be the one to make a lot of the points uh, down in the post uh, was Tarzuski. Uh, he had 12 points, um, but he did draw a lot of uh, he did draw a lot of fouls. He ended up with nine uh, total rebounds. Uh, that was the highest amount of rebounds for anybody. Um, uh, assists were something that was really cool because uh, T.J. McConnell had eight assists, and and you know even though he shot very very poorly tonight, he made two out of nine uh, field goals. Um, he and he you know ended up with four total points. Uh, T. 
T.J. McConnell, you know, still did very well on the assists. You know, he, he got eight assists, and, and he had uh, one turnover, so eight, you know, assist to turnover ratio was very, uh, was very, very good. Um, Gabe York uh, shot uh, four for nine. Uh, for the Arizona Wildcats, shot four for nine from free throw land, uh, four from three point land. Sorry about that. And, um, uh, and Nick Johnson had uh, three for seven from three point land. Um, so those were the those were the ones that uh, made those three point uh, attempts. And you know that's well, those were the ones that made it so that the Arizona Wildcats were able to uh, do so well from three-point land. They, they shot seven for 20 uh, from three-point land, which is probably about 30, around 30 percent, somewhere around there. And the uh, Oregon State Beavers shot five for 13 uh, from uh, uh, from three-point land. Sorry, uh, I, did I say that the Arizona Wildcats shot seven for 20? from a three-point land. Uh, that's what I meant. Um, let's see, another thing that stood out. Uh, steals. You know, Arizona, Arizona Wildcats had nine steals. Uh, rebounds. Uh, that was one of the things that uh, was killing the uh, Arizona Wildcats was they got out-rebounded um, uh, 47 uh, Oregon State had 47, and the Arizona Wildcats had 40 um, offensive rebounds. Uh, Oregon State had more offensive rebounds than the Arizona Wildcats. They had 21 offensive rebounds, and the Arizona Wildcats had 18. So, uh, you know, and we had Rondé Hollis Jefferson with three offensive rebounds, and uh, Nick Johnson with three offensive rebounds. Um, we had Johnson with four assists, and for some reason, usually Hollis Jefferson gets quite a few, quite a few assists, but he had zero assists tonight. So uh, that was kind of uh, interesting. Um, you know, Johnson had four assists, and then uh, McConnell for the Arizona Wildcats had eight assists. So uh, you know, I. I think that was one of the reasons why we're having a little bit of a, a struggle. While the Arizona Wildcats were having a little bit of a struggle, was Hollis Jefferson didn't get any assists. Um, I wonder what was going through Hollis Jefferson's head. Why he didn't get any assists? Uh, Aaron Gordon sh had eight points uh, total uh, compared to the 19 points that he had last game against um, was it Stanford. So, uh, you know, the Arizona Wildcats um, didn't take this one very seriously. And, and that's understandable because, you know, there was a lot of people that were saying that this is kind of a, a trap game for the Arizona Wildcats because the Oregon State Beavers are not, uh, were not expected to be a very uh, strong team. Uh, not playing very good defense, and the Arizona Wildcats were just expected to blow them away. But uh, from what I heard on the radio, um, Sean Miller has never won more than five conference games. Um, and uh, so uh, today is the sixth. You know, he won the sixth. He won... He won against Oregon. Sean Miller from the Arizona Wildcats uh, um, won won the sixth one against the Oregon State Beavers. So he had, now he has six uh, conference wins. Um, this one was away, and this one was Oregon State Beavers' uh, home territory, and they also had uh, uh, I think Gary Payton. I think was the uh, uh, one of the sports cast or one, he was he was on there announced a little bit, um, whenever whenever I was listening to the sportscasters on uh, on uh, tele on Fox Sports One, um, and he is with Oregon State and then 
he was one of the uh, very, very uh, strong players with Oregon State. So uh, the Oregon State had their own, had a lot of uh, things uh, in their favor. They had, uh, you know, one of their really, really strong players, although he, you know, um, Peyton didn't play because, uh, you know, he's much, much older. But uh, and he's not a, he's not he's not on the team anymore. He was 20, 20 years ago or something like that. But um, so they had so Oregon State had uh, they had all their fans behind them, and they were on home court, and so they had a lot of advantages. Um, but they got a lot of calls that went against them. And that was a big, that was a big trouble. That was a big no-no. That was uh, one thing that killed them. And, and another thing that killed the Oregon State Beavers was 16 turnovers uh, compared to the Arizona Wildcats had eight turnovers. So I think that the Arizona Wildcats converted those turnovers to quite a few points. So that was one of the reasons, one of the reasons why the Oregon State Beavers fell apart. We're not able to to finish this game out. Um, the uh, Oregon State Beavers had five block shots compared to the Arizona Wildcats, uh, which had two uh, block shots. And the reason why I mentioned block shots is because you know it really kills your morale. It it, it kills your your uh, desire. Um, kills your your ability to play keep playing hard whenever you get blocked so you know that so the Oregon State Beavers having five blocks that was that was one one of the reasons I think that uh, TJ McConnell was not able to um, make you know his his total points for TJ McConnell for the Arizona Wildcats was four so uh, and and uh, Nick Johnson knew that he he knew that he was getting blocked a lot of block shots. He was getting Nick Johnson from the Arizona Wildcats was getting blocked a lot, but he knew that um, the uh, refs were calling a lot of uh, fouls. So uh, anyway, the uh, um, Arizona Wildcats were able to um, you know use their use these uh, fouls that were called on the on 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 the Oregon State Beavers, and uh, that's why they were able to, uh, you know, uh, capitalize and 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 and, and w win this game. Uh, we had uh, Gomez, which had um, which he had four fouls, and then there was Brandt that had four fouls. Uh, the highest scorers for. Uh, for the Oregon State Beavers was Nelson with 25. Um, he made two three-pointers. He made nine uh, free throws. Uh, so those were big uh, contributions. And he drew a lot of fouls, too. Uh, Nelson drew a lot of fouls. And the other one that made a lot of uh, rebounds, actually, he was very, very strong on the rebound board, was Collier. Uh, from the Oregon State Beavers, and uh, he had 11 uh, rebounds in total. Uh, huh, wow, he had six offensive rebounds, which is the most of anybody on that was on the court. Um, the next person that had off, uh, four offensive rebounds was was Nelson. So Collier and and Nelson were the ones were the big contributors or a couple of the big contributors for the Oregon State Beavers. But uh, it just wasn't enough. And, and I just, you know, I, I, don't, I don't have a hopes for the Arizona Wildcats to beat Oregon, to beat the Oregon Ducks on, on Saturday. I don't think that the Arizona Wildcats are going to beat the Oregon Ducks on, on, on Saturday. So, um, you know, it'll be pro it'll probably be 28 wins and three losses, um, and then they'll go into then the uh, then uh, you know then they'll go into the Pac-10 or Pac-12 tournament. Uh, I think it starts on the 13th of uh, of uh, March and ends on the 15th. So, uh, all in all, the Arizona Wildcats were able to pull this one out, 
and uh, the Oregon State Beavers just, uh, you know, couldn't capitalize. And the, and the final score, Arizona Wildcats 74 to the Oregon State Beavers 69.